Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I just wanna do a quick fun little video going over the iMac Pro uh, as you can now configure it and buy it right on Apple's website. So let's go ahead and spec out the iMac Pro and see how much money it costs. So I'm just gonna hit buy here and we are going to spec this thing out as if it's not already spec'd out. So this is the $5,000 base model, 3.2 gigahertz, eight core Intel Xeon, W processor, turbo boost up to 4.2 gigahertz. You can read all this for yourself, 10 gigabit ethernet. That's probably one of the best parts of it. Um, although most people can't actually use that. Let's configure this thing. All right, let's see what we can do here. So this is a standard config. You can bump it up to eight cores, 10 cores, 10 cores, 10 cores. So let's choose this one, 10 core, 128 gig of memory and two terabyte storage for $9,599. Oh my gosh, just from that upgrade alone. Wow. All right, so processor, we're going to go with the 2.3 gigahertz, 18 core Xeon W processor. Wow, okay, let's do that. We're up to $11,000, holy shit. This already chose this option. Look, if you just went down to 32 gigs, you're already down to $8,000. Like it's literally $2,400 you're spending on memory. I mean, I know this is good memory, but seriously, Apple, really? $2,400 and the users can't upgrade it themselves? Not cool. Four terabyte SSD is another two grand. Jeez, well, Pete's just from the the memory and the storage, I could buy two like spec'd out or one spec'd out MacBook Pro, maybe two. Wow, okay. So obviously we're getting the Vega 64 and well, let's just throw in the Magic Mouse 2, the Magic Trackpad 2, all in Space Gray, which by the way, look awesome. And you can see here, Space Gray accessories are available only at the time of your iMac Pro purchase. You can't buy them separate, uh, at least right now. So hopefully they allow that because they do look pretty sick. I would just get the keyboard probably, but anyways, and then let's throw in this mount for 79 bucks. And we have a whopping total of $13,427 for this right here. For average people, that's like three to four months worth of salary. That's crazy. So uh, yeah, good luck guys. Um, that's crazy. So if you wanna throw in Final Cut Pro 10, let's do that. Let's not do Logic, cause eh, we don't really need that. We're up to almost $14,000 on this iMac Pro. So wow, this is the iMac Pro maxed out pretty much for almost $14,000. That is so much money. The only people that are gonna be using this product are probably movie producers and very top end YouTubers, if that. Uh, so, I mean, for the average consumer, this doesn't mean anything. This is just purely uh, funny to see. Uh, let's actually go back down here. Let's just take this off just to show kind of like, this is pretty much how much you can pay to max out your iMac Pro. That's just a crazy amount of money to spend on a computer that could be obsolete in maybe five years, six years. Uh, do the math, that's like two grand a year. Wow, that is a lot of money. And as you can see, the pickup time actually changed to February 20th for the 18 core model. That's because those ones are not actually shipping yet. Uh, these other ones, standard configs, uh, let's see, January 2nd. So we've got some of those uh, coming in sooner, obviously, at the Apple stores. Um, so that's all I got for this video, guys. If you thought it was entertaining, and that makes this number look so tiny now, wow, $5,000. Uh, but that is a ton of money for an iMac Pro. If you guys like this video, I know it's just a fun video, but I thought it was pretty entertaining. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you wanna go mess with it yourself, just head on over to Apple's website. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hit this video with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.